Namaste. Welcome to our Yoga Guard Top 3 Tips series. In this video, I'm going to cover the top three tips for why I don't practice or teach the headstand against the wall. So let's get started. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you in other videos. If you enjoyed or had any questions, please comment and I'm always happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, so the first reason that I don't practice or teach the headstand against the wall has to do with the alignment of the spine. And I'm going to show you in a moment what that looks like and what I mean. So I'm going to go into my headstand up against a wall and I want you to take a look at the shape of my back. If I need to touch the wall, you can see that my back is arched, right? So what I'm doing essentially is strengthening my back in an arched position. So that what happens is when it comes time for me to practice the headstand off of the wall, I'm going to have trouble keeping my spine aligned because I've practiced it like this. My body has muscle memory now in this shape. So if I go to do it on the floor without the wall, it's going to have this shape. And the problem is, if your headstand has that rounded shape, the bones are not stacked properly so that you're going to have a steady balance. Just like if you were standing on your feet and you were leaning back, arching back, it's more difficult to hold that position than when you're standing straight up and everything is aligned and stacked as it should be. So tip number two is one that you probably already have assumed, which is that if you're practicing up against a wall, you are relying on that wall for your strength rather than your own personal strength to move you up into that pose. So unfortunately, the prop becomes a bit of a crutch and it is difficult for you to come off of that. Now, I will say, if you have been practicing with a teacher in person and they've been guiding you as to the proper techniques for your headstand, guiding you in strengthening exercises to prepare for the headstand, then if you want at home, you can practice it against a wall because you know that you're, you're going to come out not to that art, from that arched position, but that you're going to practice it like this. And when I, when I um, tell my students to practice at home, I still don't have them practice against a wall. Generally, I will say you need to practice coming up into the pose because actually the coming up into the pose is what requires the most strength. Once everything is stacked in a nice um, alignment, it's actually easy to hold. It's the getting into the position that is the hard part. So that's what I have them practice at home and then just set some pillows up around you so that if you roll out of it, that you are going to roll out and you're going to still feel comfortable. So coming into your headstand on your own, we are kneeling on the floor. The thumbs come into the bend of the elbows, the fingers wrapped around the upper arms, elbows down on the mat, hands release, top of the head goes down on the mat, make sure it's not your forehead, toes tuck under and hips come up. Walk your feet towards your face until your back straightens as much as you can. This will depend on your personal flexibility. If you're a little far back, it just means that you're going to have to give a little bit of a hop to get into the pose. So you try to walk your feet forward as much as you can. The next is you're going to lift one knee at a time into the chest. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you're pushing your elbows into the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Knee comes into the chest, other knee comes into the chest, and then you are lifting your knees towards the ceiling, straightening up your body, and then the feet. And I'm a little bit awkward here because I'm close to the, 
to the wall, but then you're going to just lift your feet. So now everything is stacked and it's easy to hold, but it's all that coming up into the pose that is a difficult part. And once again, as I mentioned in our tree pose tutorial, you want to come out of the pose with as much control as you went in with. So the third tip in why I don't practice or teach headstand against the wall is the safety reason. So if you are practicing against the wall, it means that you can use the wall as a prop or a crutch to hold you up. If you were practicing off of the wall, like I just demonstrated, you wouldn't be getting up unless you had the strength and the technique to get up. But if you're doing it against the wall, it gives you um, kind of a false sense of ability in the pose and lots of uh, damaging things to your body can happen uh, when that happens. For example, if you don't have the shoulder strength yet to do a headstand, you will probably be kind of like sinking and the top of the head and neck, so your, your top of your head will be pressing into the mat too much because the shoulders can't, can't take the load bearing. And then the neck is going to compress and you're going to feel a lot of tension in the neck because the neck is holding everything rather than the shoulders. So it can really do a number on, um, on your neck, also on your lower back because what we mentioned before where we're doing that arched back position, that can compress the lower back. Um, and you really, it requires no abdominal strength to hold an arched back against a wall um, in, that, in that inverted position. And so you could be totally like just letting go in the abdominal muscles and, um, and then that takes any protection out from the lower back. Your abdominal muscles are required in order to uh, make sure that you, you're not crunching your lower back um, and injuring yourself. So uh, those are my top three tips and I'll just review them now. So the first was that you are not going to, first tip was don't practice against the wall because you don't want to get the, have that arched back position which will make it difficult for you to hold the pose once you get off the wall. And I've seen this so many times with students who come to the class, to come to, come to my classes who have been practicing in other classes or at home against a wall and then they come with this for form in the body and then it's difficult for them to hold for any length of time. So that's the first reason because you don't want that arched back positioning. Second is um, because you will not be building the strength required to hold the pose. And the third is similar which is the safety issue um, if you, are, if you don't have the strength, this gives you a false sense that you have the strength and you might injure yourself. So top three tips on the headstand and why I do not practice it or teach it against a wall. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and comment if you have any questions or comments on the video. I love to hear them. Uh, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.